It's the NFL on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no holds barred between AFC South rivals. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. Next on Madden NFL 25. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 51 back in 2017, we are inside NRG Stadium in Houston. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. And we are underway from Houston. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Texans offense heading out behind their quarterback in his second season. Last year's offensive rookie of the year, C.J. Stroud. And he's coming off of a truly remarkable rookie season where he quieted a lot of his doubters in a most emphatic fashion. Remember, going into the draft, many thought he was the number two quarterback coming out of college. He proved quickly he was a top quarterback going into the NFL. One of the best rookie seasons by a quarterback in recent memory. And what's scary about it? He's not even close to reaching his ceiling. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And he's got a run. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That good for 22 on a first down. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. And his throw is incomplete. Here's second and ten. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Dio Odangbo. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of ten. Well, coming into the game, the defense knew they had to provide an excellent pass rush, but not provide any gaps because he's really strong with his legs. How about that confidence booster there in the first defensive drive of the game? They know they can get to him now. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Stroud to throw it. That's complete to Dell. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. The deep to return is Josh Downs. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback, finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away may have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, Make no mistake about it. They have lofty expectations of this young man, and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. 
And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down, another run with Taylor. A limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. Big conversion. They were backed up deep to start the drive, able to pick up the first. So the goal is at least a first down here, right? Pick up a first down, give yourself some breathing room, and if you have to punt after that, maybe you've helped with field position and you've helped out your defense. And avoided a three and out on their opening drive. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, here's second and six. Richardson finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? force a punt on defense and now they're moving it crisply on offense crisply i like that like yeah that? yeah moving it very very well looks like the defense on their heels a little bit you put a score in here long way to go but you're right that's a heck of a start yeah and i think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying to have that dagger play to have that play and just finish them off right now because i think they'd love to gain that big advantage early and when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And Richardson back to throw it. Escapes the sack. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Now it's Richardson. The toss here completed to Pittman. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Here's Richardson to throw. And going right back to Pittman. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now Richardson. And that's caught left side by Mo Alley Cox. And the Colts are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And 
Nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor taking it in from four yards out. And the Colts go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7-0 Indy. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Here's Stroud. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. A shotgun snap to Stroud. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And Stroud now to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation, already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Stroud looking to throw. And Diggs has it. Oh, look at the juke. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 18. 
Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Stroud sets up the play action. This goes out wide for Mixon. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we get everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Mixon will take this one in for a Texans touchdown. So part of it was a passing game that drove him down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards, and it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Well, now how about this return? And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second down, here's the option. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Richardson looking to throw. That one finds Pierce right side. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Taylor. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. These two teams all tied after one. Yeah. 
Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. They go play action with Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 54 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Richardson looking to throw this. Steps away. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have taken the lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Anthony Richardson who took it into the end zone to finish things off. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Texans offense set to regain possession. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards that time. Impressive catch there by Schultz. He's come up a strong campaign that's saw him produce over 600 yards in his first season with the Texans. He's more than a reliable target. He's a team leader on the offensive side of the ball. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. It's Mixon on the counter. 
And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now Stroud. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. And Latu had 13 sacks in 2023. Tied for fourth in college football. A natural pass rusher. A diverse plan of attack with some sneaky bull rush ability. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble and now fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, Talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And his throw here is incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. The Colts on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. So that changes things. Here's first and ten all the way up at the 45. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. This is second and eight. Again, it's Taylor. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. All oh, the option to give to Taylor here. Wiggles free. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. 
Two yards the loss, second and 12. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. They only need a yard here. Third down and one after the penalty. Operating from the gun, Richardson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second down in the yard. Off the option, here's Taylor. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. The running game's played a huge part in getting them down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. Here's Sermon. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Mo Alley Cox, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts go up by two touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Gay is on for the point after. It's good, and it is now 21 to seven. So that drive spans 13 plays, and the result for the Colts is a touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. to throw here's Stroud 
Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Stroud working out of the gun. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Stroud. That's complete to Dell. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Again, it's Stroud. Going deep for Diggs. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing now is Stroud. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Stroud to throw it. the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Second and ten. The throwing again is Stroud. Touchdown, Texans! Robert Woods, 38 yards. And the Texans get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a Robert Woods touchdown reception. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Colts offense and running back Jonathan Taylor heading back onto the field. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big hole after big hole to run through in this first half. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there 
that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. A final shot before the half. Richardson, the toss here completed to Pittman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big-time factor in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. That tackle behind the line made by Will Anderson. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Now it's Richardson. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. That was Will Anderson getting home and finishing the play. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Richardson. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense He's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Texans will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. We'll get this to about the 38. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. From the 38 now, here's second and six. Once again, they run with Mixon. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third and five. Right 
Here's Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Mixon with a first down carry. Had a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 45 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. And Stroud now to throw. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Stroud looking to throw. Down inside the 10. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Back to throw. Stroud. C.J. Stroud, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And, partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbairn. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. That time, a nine-play drive, and it was C.J. Stroud who finished off that drive with the touchdown run. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half.
A carry by Taylor to start the drive. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give to Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That second down play nets a minus four. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Flush to his right. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Texans will take over with a first and ten. The Texans offense and C.J. Stroud getting ready for this next drive. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart. And that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Stroud. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Operating from the gun, Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Diggs going in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Back to Mixon on second down. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. They'll see about converting this third and eight. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, 
Don't jump early and give them free yardage. And a penalty, a big assist to this offense. Now it's third and three. Back to throw. Stroud. And that is incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Colts offense and Anthony Richardson ready for this next possession. And this defense has got to be at its wits end trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go. And he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. From the shotgun, Richardson. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Here's Richardson to throw. Now that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. But this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 41. And motioning left, that's Pittman. Now a fake on a jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. 94 yards rushing for him now to this point. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. On the option left, Richardson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he is going to have a coach first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. 
What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. All the option to give to Taylor here. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And they'll go play action here with Stroud. Got his man, Dell. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. To mix it on the check down. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete will go down as a gain of six and now we've got a third down and three right there he rose to the occasion late in a close game it's something he thought about dreamed about and worked on throughout his career because in these types of situations he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football oh and the hard count might have got him this might be a first down So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. 
After the penalty, it's Mixon. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Back to Mixon on second down. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Play action. Here's Stroud. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 25, here's second and five. Now Stroud. He'll get the hook up there to Woods. Well, methodical drive. This is turning out to be that time nine yards, and the sticks move again. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Over the middle, complete. That's Schultz. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. To the right side and caught by Dell. It's a three-yard pickup and that sets up first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, I have to think that the wheels are really spinning in their play caller's mind now. They had a little setback there on first down. They'll have three more shots if that's what it takes because they've got to take field goals out of their thought process. They need a touchdown and a conversion to tie this game. What play calls does he have? And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was Damian Pierce closing things out with a touchdown run. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest.
The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Tackled by the cornerback, Derek Stingley. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Now a second and ten. Richardson looking to throw this. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now we've got a third and four. They went to their big body tight end on second down in hopes that he could plow his way to a first down. But they were ready for him defensively and ended up holding him to a modest gain. Richardson shotgun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. They run once more with Taylor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. Quick slant caught by Pierce. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Well, this crowd into it now. Third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Richardson to throw it. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Here's a second and seven. Off the option, here's Taylor. And they get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's first down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. 
The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Under a minute to play now. Here's second down. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here we go, first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And his kick is right there, it's good. And the Hoosier State will celebrate tonight as the Colts have won it. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business.